So now this is the calculator part. So to calculate any probability on that curve, we're using something called normal CDF. And when you type normal CDF in, they're gonna ask for the lower limit, upper limit, mean, standard deviation. And I will show you exactly what we mean on the next slide in our example. So remember, normally when I give you a normal distribution problem, the first thing you need to do is draw your curve. I'll start with my mean. My mean is 300. And then you always do three standard devi deviations to the left and three to the right. And then you draw your bell curve, making sure it's at the top at 300 and then goes down from there. It doesn't have to be perfect, as long as you can see where the mean is. And I know this is one standard deviation, two, and then three here. So if you ever get a question that asks you to draw the curve, it has to look just like this. Three to the left, three to the right, mean in the middle. You show me where your standard deviations are. And so this question is asking, I want to know the probability of a bulb lasting at least 365 days. So days, that's on the bottom here. So I'm going to look at 365, somewhere around here. You know, it doesn't have to be completely accurate, just in the right area. So I'm looking for 365 or better. So this is the probability I want here. So in my calculator, it wants me to do lower limit, upper limit, mean, and standard deviation. So here my lower limit, it's at 365. Upper limit, that's this. We want to go to infinity because it goes all the way up to infinity. So for infinity, you can type in this in the calculator. I'll show you how to do that. And then the mean is right here, 300. Standard deviation, remember they give it to you, they give you all that, that's 50. If you type that in the calculator, you will get the answer. And I'll show you how to do that. Yeah. How come you uh, type infinity instead of uh, the maximum number? Because if you look at your bell curve, remember, it, if you're going all the way to the right to the end, it's going to infinity. And so what we do, we'll do normal CDF. So to get to normal CDF, it is, you see right here where it says distribution in blue? We want that. So second VARs. And then we're doing normal CDF, CDF, number two. Press enter. So here our, lo our lower limit was 365 because we went 365 or better. Upper limit is infinity. So we press one and you'll see a little double E here, right here. The blue E, you press second, that, and then 99. What that E represents is 10. So you're just saying one to the times 10 to the power of 99. If you wanted to, you could also write one times 10 to the 99 power. You'll get the same answer. Our mean was 300, standard deviation was 50, enter. And so that's the probability right there. I remember to, for the percentage form, you would just multiply that by 100. And what this is saying is that about 9.68% of the light bulbs will last longer than 365 days. That's exactly what we did. We drew that same bell curve, colored in that part, put in our lower, upper, mean, and standard deviation.